okay. I have to suffer, so you're going to have to suffer too. I wanted to share my suffering editing uh, this video. I've been spending probably most of uh, today, a good part of today, on this, um, trying to edit uh, this quantum uh, computer video, and I'm, I'm still not... I'm still not there. I'm still not there. Let's let me show you. I'm using DaVinci Resolve. I've been using DaVinci Resolve for like a year, right? And I, I I'm pretty good at it. I like it. It's you know, but my needs are very simplistic, right? I shoot with one camera and like it's one audio. I get the audio right in camera, and so I just drop my. Uh, you know, uh, uh, clips and I shoot them all in sequence, drop them all in, and I just trim and edit and, you know, really basic stuff. But this uh, shot, uh, this shoot that I did um, at the University of New South Wales with uh, Andrea Morello, who you, um, who've seen uh, before, I actually, um, I was shooting this with two cameras. So I had a uh, B-roll camera, which was set up, which was shooting like a wider angle thing. And then I had like a handheld uh, camera. So I've got two camera shoots, but I also had two microphone solutions as well, just in case. So I had my uh, Rode one, one on him, you can see it, uh, you can see it there, and I had one on me as well, and that was going into the handheld camera, which I, you know, is the main camera, so to speak. Um, and then I also, I also had him wired up with an additional, you might be able to see the uh, wireless mic on there, with an additional mic which went into my B camera, which is actually my main camera here in the lab, but you know, <laughs> the fact that it was on a tripod. Eh, anyway, so this is my first attempt really to edit a multi-camera, uh, you know, video. And let me show you, like in previous editing software that I've used, right? Why is this all grayed out now? I don't understand why this is all now grayed uh, out. Reduction. Something's <laughs> something's really going wrong here. Um, and yeah, <laughs> There's lots of things which I don't know about for this multi-camera editing, right? Anyway, oh, there. So it comes good when I actually click on a thing. I don't know why, and then I click out there, and it goes grey. Oh, it doesn't normally do that. <laughs> it doesn't normally do that when I edit videos. So something's very different. Anyway, um, uh, uh, yeah, please, scream. Leave it in the comments down below. Dave, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Or oh, use a different editing software. <laughs> I, I appreciate the help, but I'm struggling on my own. <laughs> okay, you might have seen me on uh, Twitter trying to do this. Anyway, right? So how I'd normally do it. So what I've got here down in my timeline, right, is I've got two separate videos, right? So I've got the main camera and the second camera, okay, and then I've got a third uh, clip where I put overlays and you know um, text overlays and image overlays and right stuff like that, right? And then. Um, the, the first problem is then this main camera, which is my handheld one, it actually contains two separate channels of audio. Now I, I actually had to split these manually, right? So these, these two channels here, audio Andrea and audio Dave, right? Um, I had to split those manually. So, you know, I kind of like figured out how to do that. Uh, no problems at all. I don't normally have to do that in the lab because I shoot in mono, right? I've got one microphone. I'm shooting this in mono. I've got one microphone here, uh, which just uh, in, in camera goes into both channels. So I never have to like split the channels. Anyway, so that's not a problem. Plus I've got this, audio, th this third audio over here, which also uh, contains, um, I think that one's split as well. Can we actually display individual audio channels? Is that... No, I think I only had the one cam. I don't think I had the mic, the internal mic and the wireless mic separately there. No. Anyway, I'm getting there to explain <laughs> my problems. Okay, right. So normally in, in other, right, um, in how these nonlinear editors work, right, if this video track two here, okay, because it's physically on top of, the main one down here, it takes precedence. So it's what gets displayed in the main frame over here, okay? But if I want to, say I wanted to switch to this other camera view, which is here, in other editing software, I'm so used to just being able to like actually drag a fader bar down and fade it down to zero, for example, so it vanishes, right? 
But there's no such thing here that I'm aware of in DaVinci Resolve, right? So, um, like, and there's nothing here. Like, I can't, I can, I can press D, okay? There's a shortcut D here, it tells you, which is enable clip. Aha, no worries, I'll just press D. Look what happens, it disables the audio. So I play that, I've now got no audio because the audio is attached to the video. So I can't just disable, I can't just disable that video clip. I can do it for a whole channel, right? I can do it for the entire timeline, right? But I don't want that. I just want to disable that clip or I want to fade or maybe even have them faded, perhaps, right? And in other editing software packages, and I've used them all pretty much. <laughs> you, you name it, I've probably used it. That, that's how they all work, right? Or at least, you know, um, the ones that I've used have, right? But no, this thing doesn't, right? It's no, you either have to split them up totally and like and actually cut them and then delete them. And then I'd have to then go into like, uh, you know, I'd have to go into unlink mode and then I'd have to like delete up oh, that, uh, for example. Right. So I'd have to like do it all kind of like manually kind of thing. Right. And, you know, th that's a pain in the ass. So I watched a tutorial video and I figured out how to do multi cams and multi cams. It, it, it's actually in. <laughs> right? It's actually great in concept. And uh, so what I did, I won't go through, I can link it in, but I've created a multicam, okay? So what you can do, oh well, no, look, you can go over here, right? And then you can select the two different cameras. In my case, I believe it's this one here. Uh, it's, uh, it makes no difference. Anyway, I, I can select like, oh, it's gone. Has it moved it? It's moved the clip. It's moved it over to original clips. Anyway, right, you can select that one and this one, for example, right? And then you can go uh, create new multi-cam multi clip using selected clips, okay? So you can name it, so you can name it right? And, it, and then you can actually, this is really cool, you can actually, which is not on by default, but I, I found this in the uh, in tutorial, you can actually sync it. Right, so it automatically syncs them up by sound and puts it in. Fan right, fantastic. Because otherwise, I've had to sync these manually. Okay, so anyway, it so it actually creates a multi. If I go back to edit, it actually creates this multi cam clip, which is just one clip, but it actually contains multiple camera angles and multiple audio sources, and they're synced up by sound. Right, so in theory. I, I thought, oh, my prayers are all answered. This is fantastic, right? And I was ready to start editing. By the way, I've got two hours of footage, right? The way, the reason that I'm fussing over the little stuff at the start is because, yeah, I've got, <laughs> I've got two hours, two hours of, oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I'm in, yeah. I've got two hours of footage. There it is there, right? <laughs> well, there's actually, yeah, it's like practically two, almost two hours of footage, right? hour and 50 minutes. So I want to get this all right. And and sometimes I've got the clip, so like it's not like I started two cameras at the same time and I'm just going to have, uh, and they all finished at the one time. No, sometimes I don't, didn't have my second camera turned on. One of them ran out of battery and they're unsynced, right? They're all over the shop, right? So I've got to figure out how to actually get all these together, right? <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> a simple two camera shoot, right? But it's overly complicated and I've got multiple audio sources. Sometimes I want to like mute me because I'm going, uh-huh, or something like that, you know, which is what you do in real life, you know, to show that you're, you know, you understand what the person you're talking to is saying and things like that. But I want to sort of mute me out a bit. So I've got to, you know, um, sort of mute stuff out. But, but the good thing is, is that the audio, you can actually just grab this here and you should be able to, I can actually fade out the audio like that, right? No worries. Okay. So anyway, where am I? Oh, right. <laughs> so <clears throat> I've I created, so I started a new time. So I thought, okay, like I got, so I was, I was actually, before I figured out this multicam thing, I was actually editing this, right? Like using my old school approach. Right, then I discovered, watched the tutorial and I discovered this multicam. Okay, so I created, I, I thought, okay, I'll start again. Right, so I already, I took in all the stuff I'd already um, edited here, right? And then, here we go, right? I've got the, this multicam uh, thing. Shield. Now, if I choose multicam, there you are, right? This is really cool, okay? This is great. I thought all my prayers are answered here. 
<laughs> okay, because right, if it right, so this window on the right hand side here is that's what you'll see in the final edited video, and then this shows the two different camera angles, right? So as I'm playing this, right, which is there, right, I can play it, and then I can just go cut like that, boom, and hopefully you're hearing this here, right? And then I can go, oh no, I want to switch back to this camera angle, and it cuts it and switches it. But you're probably hearing, if you've got headphones like I do, you can hear that the audio is changing. Okay? Boom. It's <laughs> so not only is it cutting the video, it's also cutting the audio as well. Right? No worries. I know how to fix this. I've been using DaVinci Resolve for a year. No problem. Right? I can just, like, like over here, okay? This is not a multicam clip. Over here... If I right click on that, I go into my clip, uh, clip attributes. I'm, I'm a professional DaVinci Resolve user, right? I set both channels to channel one, right? So it's like, it's it's fixed, okay? So like it's, it's, it's a mono. So I'm taking his audio, for example, and using that as the default mono thing, right? So it's a stereo track, but both left and right sources are coming from the embedded channel one okay no, no worries so i thought oh that, that's what i'll just do over here so i right click on this there's no clip attributes anymore where's it gone like it's totally not consistent right it's it, it's crazy so I, I can switch and i discovered right that hang on right so we've got this is from my b cam and if i slip switch camera angles I can now get the audio coming up, right, from the, so if you clip up here in the video window, I think you switch, yeah, you switch like that, but if you clip down here in the bottom, you can change audio clips, you can change audio sources down here, right, great, but then how do I mix it into mono? Right, which I which I just did over here with the clip attributes like this. It doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't exist. <laughs> I no, I like seriously. I like and I want to solve this before I go and spend the two hours editing this thing. Right, and you'll and you'll actually see that um, the you know, this, this so cam camera will time. this. One of these yeah, angles will so die like in a minute. It'll. Is a game of oh. cooler, the ones that make we have hang on. Like it, it will eventually die. No. Oh. No, yeah. See, it, it eventually that dies that there because the camera, that like that clip, finished at that point. So I'm going to have to render. Uh, well, I'm going to have to create multiple multi-cam clips based on the different clips that I've got, which is okay, because you can't, I don't know, you can't just join them all together, I don't think, anyway, I might try that, but anyway, like, this is, like, really annoying, this is really annoying, so I, I just wanted to rant, okay, <laughs> it's probably nothing wrong with DaVinci Resolve, like, it, it, no, there's quite some quite complicated things in DaVinci Resolve, but my needs are usually very simple, and this is what you get, like, you know, I've been using DaVinci Resolve for a year, right, I should be an expert in this now, yet a simple two camera and two audio solution shoot like this just has me baffled and scratching for tutorials and once I figure out one thing no there's another thing which is this like how do I enable the clips I can probably go over here and do it no I thought you know like if it's no hang on where is it over here can, can I go into here like does this have it where's that how do I get into that um Th audio edit menu where I can set it to mono, you know, convert the stereo into mono kind of thing. And then, like, I c oh, and then, <laughs> then how do I do that based on which clip I wanted? Like, because sometimes I might want to switch to the other camera or something. And it's like, oh, God. Anyway, it's, it's nuts, right? It's absolutely nuts. And no, the um the speed editor thing that hardware speed editor thing that i've got um it's it it doesn't help it, it doesn't 
fix the fundamental problem I have here, which is not knowing how to do this. And it's probably easy, and I'll probably figure it out five minutes before I, uh, after I upload this video, and that's fine, right? But I, I just wanted to share with you, right? <laughs> it's just, it's just the problems with with do it as soon as like you change your. This is the thing, with you know doing YouTube videos. As soon as you change your workflow at all. You just your productivity just grinds to a halt. Okay, I should have finished. You know, this two hours worth of footage, right? I, I should have been done. I should have been done by after lunchtime or something. But I know I've been here most of the day trying to dick around and figure things out, and it's just uh, it's just nuts. Anyway, uh, not a happy camper, right? But and then right, I'll do this. So I'll figure out how to do this, and then I won't use this skill again for another six months until I do another, you know, two-camera shoot on site or something, and then I'll, um, you know, and then I'll forget how to do the whole thing. <laughs> I'll just forget, and then I've got to go through it all. Oh, maybe I'll watch, I'll, I'll make myself a solution video so that I can go and watch it. <laughs> you know, it's just, <laughs> it's nuts. Anyway. Yeah, this, like, normally, like, to edit, if it was just a single camera thing, two hours worth of footage, I, I could have edited this in three hours, you know, something like that. Like, it doesn't take much longer than real time to kind of, you know, you're stopping and starting a bit, so it might take, you know, a third or even double the amount of length, you know, three, three four hours, something like that tops um, to edit a two-hour video normally. Um, but, yeah, this, so... <laughs> I hope you can understand that I'm not going to proceed until because audio is just as important as video, if not more. So I want to get the video correct. I want to get the audio. The audio has to be right before I then go in and then chop up, chop up, chop up, do, you know, you know hundreds of different cuts here to chop, you know, angles of camera and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. And then to top it all off sometime and then. Once I get to a point, like half of this shoot was actually um, involved uh, talking to, like, um, at a computer monitor here. So I have one of the cameras on the computer monitor here. So I don't just want to switch to that. I want to have it up in the corner, right? So then, like, that's going to be another um, step again. That's going to be another production step again. How do I get that camera up in the corner? Where, with my normal editing technique, um, yeah, no worries, right? I can just go here and then I can um, uh, like go into the inspector up here and then I can, you know, change the um, size of it here. For, well, I can change the size of it. For example, now I've screwed the pooch. Yeah, I can change the size of it. I can move it and stuff like that. But how I do that on a multicam shoot, I don't know. I'm learning as I go. Anyway, hope you appreciate the effort put into <laughs> Edit in a video. It's my own fault. I decided to shoot this as a two channel shoot, as a two camera shoot. It's the first time I've done it, really. First time I've done two camera shoot. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to make it nice because it's very long, you know. So I wanted to, like, you know, transition, change camera angles to keep it a bit, you know, like constantly to keep it kind of, you know, fresh and interesting so your eyes don't glaze over when you're watching it. But anyway, there you go. Take pity on me in the comments or just scream and tell me I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm doing. It's so easy, Dave. Oh, I do it every day. <laughs> Catch you next time. Uh.